Hey guys, Crispin Sanford. Uh, this is New Year's Day. It's the 1st of January 2019. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give a message to you. I wanted to share with you my New Year manifesto. Um, I want to share my wishes for you, uh, as well as for myself for the year. Um, so yeah, I'm doing this on a Facebook Live. I, the definition here of a manifesto is a public declaration of policy and aims. And my policy this year for 2019 is competence. Uh, my aim is competence uh, for 2019. I want that to go beyond, but that's what I'm going to focus on this year. And I want it to be your focus too. I want, um, I have a saying, uh, a goal, and it's to make um, reality a dream and make your dream a reality. Uh, making your reality a dream has to do with your work, your life, um, doing everything to make it the best it can be. Too many people focus on um, what, uh, it, why, the way things aren't going, the bad things about what they're doing. Um, and I think it's fantastic when people are focused on the good, doing the best that they can do. You know, they're making their reality a dream. Um, and also, I think it's important to make your dream a reality. You know, putting it in writing, uh, sharing it with people who are interested. I think that helps. Uh, obviously, it, it goes without saying, you know, if you put it, your dream down in writing, if you're sharing it with people, it's more and more real. So, yeah, my manifesto for the year 2000, new year, 2019 is competence for me and for you, for other people, for the people I know, um, for the people I'm going to work with. Um, and I want it to be competence in the area where you currently work, what you're currently doing. Um, and also in the area of your goals, your ambitions, your dreams, the thing that you wish you were making your living at. I think both of those can inform each other. Doing both of those things, both of those things being committed to both of them, I think um, it creates a tension, definitely, and there's an opposition to it. You know, Doing everything to make your, your current uh, activities, your life that you're living, the job you're, and you're, that you're working in, uh, whether you're a staff member in the organization or an executive, or if it's your business, you know, it might not necessarily be the thing that's making you the most happy. Um, but that's the point here, is how do you do the thing that makes you your living? You know, serve your clients, your customers, serve your boss, um, and bring yourself to it. Be committed to making sure that, that it's something that you really enjoy doing more than, than you have because of what you personally bring to it. And I also think, uh, sharing what you know, putting it in writing, um, uh, sharing what you know within the organization and who you are, your ambitions in your organization. I think doing that will make you happier uh, in, that, in that thing that you do. And also, you know, finding the group members, those other people, the community uh, that are involved in the thing that you look forward to doing, that you dream of doing. Right, so there are a couple of pillars in, in the things I know and that I've done that I'm sharing with people, right? Um, uh, it's the way in which I'm gonna accomplish more of what I know, my expertise. Uh, I'm good at organization, uh, I'm good at being true to myself and my goals and bringing myself into a job, uh, the job I had for five and a half years till I um, turned in my notice and started to transition into building my own company. Um, you know, that was business development, right? That was getting organized, that was, um, uh, documenting uh, what I was learning as well as what I was bringing and you know when I started the job they didn't have a business development area right it was mainly marketing it was a marketing firm and uh, from the get-go I, I said you know I want my job to be the director of business development the owner of the company my boss let me do that right and I, I really appreciated it at the time and not only did I build uh, my position I got promoted um, to vice president of business development. Um, so I literally, out of whole cloth, took my responsibilities and brought myself to it from the beginning, from the get-go, and then built it up to being not only um, an important part of the team, but a senior executive in the team. Um, I moved, um, Obviously, as I said, I've moved on, but part of what I recommend for you uh, to do for 2019, again, competence, uh, is the message, competence is the manifesto. If I was a, a, a musician or in a band, 
uh, and I was on a world tour. My world tour would be called Competence, right? 2019, the Crispin Sanford World Tour Competence, uh, the Competence Tour. So it would be, so what I'm saying then for you, as well as for me, uh, is to have these two different goals. Uh, this goal where you're making uh, everything that you, you've created, your expertise, your living, uh, making that better putting that in writing, getting it more organized, being true to yourself, bringing yourself to your job, um, establish the best practices that you know, um, and be targeted regarding your own marketing within your business, with clients, with who you know outside of the business in that same industry. Begin to develop a community around it um, so that as you transition more and more into being um, uh, competent and at high level competence, you can actually begin to build a business in that area and help that support uh, you then moving on and making your own dream a reality. Um, I know that uh, some of what um, people want to accomplish um, gets held up by um, you know, really not putting it down in writing and, and making it real, making the dream a reality. So the same thing there, organize what it is you want to accomplish. Put down in writing your passion um, and uh, uh, how you're going to go from where you are now to where you want to be. Building a group on Facebook. I've got various groups on Facebook. Um, so bu building those relationships with others in the area of your dream. Building those relationships and starting to make it real. Working on projects. Working on um, shared understanding and know-how. Um, as I say, competence is the king, right? Competence is key to, to succeeding. It's the way in which you're going to make sure um, the community that you want to move in towards, move into, uh, sees you as an expert in that area, sees you as competent in, area, in that area, and want to work with you, want to want to build the dream too with you. Anyway, so that's uh, that's my uh, speech, my rant for uh, uh, 2019, for the, for the new year that we've got uh, that started today. Um, and uh, I wish you the best. I want you to be, uh, as I always say, I love saying to people, you know, make this the best year yet. You know, whether it's their birthday or whether it's uh, the new year, I love saying that message to people. Some of you probably have gotten that message. You know, um, uh, make this the best year yet. So, all right, guys, that's it from me. Um, I, want, I want nothing but the best for you. I want to see you more throughout the year. I want to hear from you more throughout the year. Uh, let's stay better in touch. Let's build a community together. Um, and, and let's uh, expand uh, and make 2019 the best year yet. All right, guys, bye.